ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to give you guys our top 7 guns for this season of Call of Duty Mobile. And not only that, we're going to give you guys some gameplay of me using all 7 guns in one game. Yes, it's the 7 gun 1 game challenge. But before we continue on with this video, let's give a huge shout out to Call of Duty Mobile for sponsoring this video. Really much appreciated. Alright, so I actually haven't done a top 7 gun video in a long time. I just feel like the meta has always been like stale and stuff. But this season with the upgrades to all a bunch of guns, I feel like I shaked it up just a little bit. I will have 7 guns. I typically don't put snipers and shotguns or marksmen just because I feel like that's a very niche gun. I know the SKS can be a really good one to put into that, but uh, I did not put in this one. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start off with one honorable mention, which could potentially go up this list in the future. So for honorable mentions, I want to talk about LMGs to be specific, the Hoger slash the RPD. As of now, the Hoger is the best LMG in the game, but with the addition of the new barrel to the RPD, which it's not out yet, but I got a feeling it's going to make the RPD a very strong gun. So that's going to be something that you got to keep in mind or keep track of as it releases. That could potentially move up the list. But for now, this is the build that we're using. If you want to use it, go ahead. So number seven is going to be the Can 44. There's a lot of guns that could have been put onto this list, but I was using it recently and I found this gun was a absolute laser. It beams and it's got great, great recoil control, especially if you use the light muzzle flash break as you guys can see here this one right here this one it gives you so much horizontal recoil it does lack a time to kill compared to the other guns that's why i put it down this list i'm not sure if i posted a video about this gun yet if i didn't it will be posted later but that is going to be my number seven all right so number six as well as number five are going to be very much interchangeable very close to each other those two guns are going to be the gks as well as the mac 10 as i have right now number six is going to be the gks just because i feel like this matter you want to be able to win close range so i put the mac 10 slightly higher that being said the gks does have the opportunity to three tap close range which is a nice addition in addition to having a great range so this is a very nice gun especially with the buff you have to the gks as i mentioned number five is going to be the mac 10 the mac 10 is still a fantastic gun close range it does drop off a little bit because of the nerf at those medium to long range and that's why i put in number five because a lot of these gunfights will be close to medium range so this is a fantastic gun especially since it got great mobility and it's got great magazine size you just can't go wrong with this at your number five all right, so for number four, we're going to have the AK-117. However, number four, three, and two are going to be absolutely the closest when it comes to any of the guns. The AK-117 got a huge buff to damage and range, which makes it a fantastic gun. This is the build I was using, and it was absolutely shredding. It does have a little bit of slight downside at that range, but the time to kill close range is one of the best, if not the best, of all ARs. All right, so number three is going to be the M13. And as I mentioned, the M13 and the AK-117 were super close. I gave the slight edge to the M13 just because it has a higher magazine side, as well as it has easier use than the AK-17. Time to kill is still going to be fantastic, as well as the recoil control. But the AK-17 does have a faster time to kill close range. However, the M13 has a beautiful pay-to-win skin. So if you add that into the edition, this is a great gun to have at number three. All right, number two is going to be the Kilo. As mentioned, this was a very close one between the M13 and the AK-17. However, I'm going to put the slight edge to this just because you have the chance to three tap with this gun as well as the big magazine side, easy recoil control, and um, the iron side is not the best, but still a very good gun, and that's why it's my number two. And number one is going to be none other than the CBR. I'm sure all of you guys expected that. With the nerf to the MAC-10, the CBR is the best gun in the game. It's got fantastic close range capability as well as beams medium to potentially long range. And in my opinion, the CBR is way stronger than the other guns just because the time to kill is so fast. It can beam and it can beat a lot of ARs that medium range. And I feel like with the mobility being so good, this gun definitely deserves a nerf. I don't know if it deserves a massive nerf, maybe a mobility nerf or a recoil, maybe a damage nerf, but this is by far the best gun this season. So that is going to be my top seven gun this season. Let me know if you guys agree. And if you disagree, let me know what is your top seven. That's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I might switch this for the KN because I strongly believe in the KN in, over the Holger, but the RPD might change that. Nice. That's one. That's two. Three. Where's the fourth one? Four. Five. Let's go. Switch guns. Switch guns. All right. We got the Gukas. I like it. I like it. And we got UAV and Shock RC to work with. Shock RC. Enemy shock RC. Are they all on the point? Lost the lead. 
No, only one. Two, three, three, four. No, five. All right, that's five, right? Let's go, let's go. Okay. No easy kills. No easy kills. Okay, I know. Oh, I see where they are. Explode. This guy in here. That's one. This is the terrible gun for- Yo, you- Shock RC, hello? That's two. Three. Okay, three. Four. No! There's no shot that killed me. There's no shot! How did I not get that kill, by the way, chat? Sniper, where? How many did I get? I sent two more. Nice. Where'd they go? Still need... No! I need one more. Oh my god. Nice! Okay, okay, good, good, good. We can switch guns. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, we're at 117. That's one. That's two. Where? Oh my god. Two, three, four, five. Okay, yes, good, 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 good. No time to waste. I'm dead. Ooh, dodge that like my responsibilities. Where? 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 Where's the enemy? Where the heck are the enemies? Enemy contact. That's one. Oh, I shot between the legs. That's only one. I only got one. That's not good. Actually, it's good because the game is lasting, but... That's one, two... Three. Four. No! Give me one more! Five, there we go. I know I'm gonna have to kill myself for this, but... Okay, we're close, we're close, we're close, we're close, we're close. And we gotta win the game, dude. Okay, we got the kill-o. No shot, I lost that, dude. No shot! Oh, GKS. Enemy contact. Nice. Enemy no, no way. No way! Enemy. Nice. That's two. Three. Four. No! My kills! Oh my god. Uh, the guy. I hate it here, dude. I hate it here. I got it. I got this. I just need five more kills, dude. That's not good. Got shot on the side. Oh my god. Alright, I got it. I got enough. Oh, I got, I got an extra one. Damn. Okay. All right, all right. We got it. We got it. Last one. Enemy shock RC is coming. Oh my god, damn it. Okay, I have to contest this point. 
What else we're gonna lose? All right. I didn't get that. Okay. Okay. I, I'm gonna play here just for a little bit. I need three more kills, I think. No! Two more kills, two more kills. Oh my god. No, I'm, I'm not gonna get it. One more. Oh, I got it, thank goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. I almost died. Alright, now we gotta win. We gotta win this game now. Alright. There's a guy in here. Okay, let's go! I got it, I got it. Oh my god, dude, that was tough, dude.